In this video, I would love to show you how to use some of the brushes in Oil Pastel Volume 2 brush set. If you're interested, you can find the link below. So the first brush I want to walk you through is um, this one called, at the very first brush, that is called Raised Edges. As you can see, um, we can use it to cover large area, and then it does give you a 3D look of a oil pastel brush. So you just pick up the brush and choose a color, and then just draw as usual. And whenever two strokes overlap, you can see the edges will appear as if um, it's raised. So you can see the textures pretty well. And also, if you draw really lightly, there's a bit of like a streak going on, which I think is very cool in mimicking how oil pastel works in digital medium. So this is the first brush that is called Raised Edges. And the next brush I want to walk you through is called Overlapping Edges. So this one, if we use this yellow, um, when you draw um, different strokes, you can see there is a bit of color variation when the strokes overlap. So if you just draw one single stroke, it will just give you a flat oil pastel texture. But if you draw another stroke on top of that, you can see there's a bit of um, light blending on top of that. It's really pretty if you cover large area with this brush. So it's not as drastic or dramatic as the first one, but also it's not as flat as a lot of digital illustration looks like. So if you are a texture lover, you are going to love this brush set. And another brush I want to highlight is called Blotchy. And it behaves kind of like this. So I'm going to choose a orange color and then just draw a stroke. So as you can see, there's even within the stroke, there's a thick and thin. Um, so this is really cool if you want to showcase an outline, but without losing texture. So when you overlap different strokes, you can kind of similar like the first, um, the previous brush I have showed you, you can still see the color variation between the edges, but this one has more texture within the stroke. And this brush has a kind of a twin sister that is called blotchy with a color shift. So this one has the same texture, but with color variation. Without changing my color, if I just draw one stroke on top of the other, you can see there is light color shift in between my strokes. So this is great for building a very textured area. It will give you this type of effect. And if you want an area to have the same color, just don't lift your pen. You can just color the same area with one stroke. And if you want to build texture on top of that, you can just lift your pen and lay it down again. And then you have a more texture rich area. The next brush I want to show you is called Tilt to Highlight. So if you choose a color and then just draw something at a normal angle, it will look like the color that you have chosen. But if you tilt your pencil, like how you would hold a shading pencil, it will become a lighter shade of the previous color that you have chosen. So let's pick a different color. Similarly, if you draw just one layer, it looks the same. And then if you tilt your pencil, it will give you a different color. The next brush I want to show you is called Rough Texture. So when you lay down the strokes on canvas, you can see the texture of the medium, like the canvas or paper that is showing through. And you can vary your pressure to decide how smooth you want your stroke to look like and how much texture you want to see. There's that. And the next brush is called the Layer Builder. 
let's switch to a different color to see so this one if you just draw a few strokes and then zoom in you can see that the belly of the strokes are really rich just like how you would use an oil pastel when you lay down your strokes um there are different bumpy areas so how they reflect the light creates this um, beautiful texture that really um, brings your drawing to life so this one is called layer builder and we have a variation of this layer builder that is called layer builder with color shift so whenever you see this fruit emoji in front of the name that means that this brush has a color shift function so over here we have a different variation of the same pink that we have chosen so this is texture upon texture if you are really into that next in line we have a streaky middle one and a streaky middle two so this one is very interesting when you draw a stroke you can almost see the streaks in the middle kind of separates so it gives you more of a pastel stick look you can see the edges also interact with one another and this is um, streaky middle one and streaky middle two is more texture rich so you can see this is very oil pastel like especially if you zoom out you can use it as one layer or you can lay your strokes on top which will give you a beautiful texture that um, you can see almost at the like museum when there's like beautiful pastel painting when you look super close you can see the ups and downs and the ridges of the medium itself so there's that and the next option we have a streaky middle two with a color shift um, so each stroke gives you a slight different variation of the color. So some strokes are lighter, some are darker, some are more saturated, some are less. So there's that. And after that, we have a fine grain. So if you imagine this um, pastel to be super soft, so if you just use a tiny bit of pressure, it already creates this super smooth, almost like caterpillar-like texture, um, silky, but not flat. As you can tell, um, we have covered one area, but you can clearly see the differentiation between strokes. And you can build upon that and have that as one of the effects. And after that, we have a rough grain. So this one is a bit rougher. Almost like it's more granulated. And of course, you can change the size of the grain by changing the size of the brush. So depending on what kind of effect you're achieving, this can be really cool to um, for drawing um, something that is almost like three-dimensional that oil pastel can provide. All right, the next one is called soft stick one. And it's, it's smooth and also it's very pressure sensitive. So if you draw lightly, it's going to produce a thinner stroke. And if you add pressure, it's going to bulk up the width of your stroke width. And the next one is the same soft stick with color shift. So this is really pretty if you just build your strokes with the color variation. So it almost looks like 3D. So I really encourage you to um, take out your set and create a almost like a swatch. So you have a reference of how each um, color, um, how each brush behaves. So we have another variation of the soft stick. So this one is more almost like a cloudy 
look. And the edges are more wild in this variation. This one is more kind of cottony. The grains are finer and also lighter, almost like a blend between watercolor and oil pastel. All right, so let's keep looking what's on the list. And we have another one called Ruffy. Let's use a different color for change. So this one is pretty rough. This is probably one of my favorite because when you look close, this one um, really resembles um, oil pastel. From the edges, you can tell like the different bumps and also on the belly of um, each stroke, you can see the tiny bit of detail. Creating brushes give me a lot of joy in mimicking the real um, medium on a screen. All right, so for the next a couple of options, we have a heart stick one. So this one is a um, oil pastel, but with a slightly harder texture. So almost like between oil pastel and a crayon. And then we have a, another variation of the heart stick. So this one um, is more contrasty. And the marks are more definitive. And this one has a bit of opacity, translucency built in. But the second option is more solid and has a greater contrast. And the next option is called a canvas color. So this one really picks up the texture of the canvas. And it can be super gentle and tilt to just add a, like a, almost like a glazing effect. And you can also just drill down real hard and you will have a beautiful line. And we have a heart stick with color shift. This one just gives you different variation of the same shade that you choose. And we also have a, this one I called it rough edge. Let's choose a different color. So this one, almost like the cloudy version, the caterpillar version we have showcased before but this one um i want to say the belly variation is greater not only it has a bit of um brightness shift and also has like a tone shift it's very subtle so it will not behave like a crazy um brush but it will give you a very subtle texture that is hard to produce with real color um real um oil pastels and then we have a color shift version of that. And we have another one called soft edge. So this one has very gentle edge, almost like watercolor bleeding effect. But the entirety of the stroke looks like oil pastel. So really spend time to get to know your brushes. I've spent way too many hours designing those brushes and I'm super proud of each and every one of them. It makes me so happy to see work in the, like works of art, other artists in the wild using my brushes. So, doo -doo -doo. and then we, again, we have a color shift version of that brush. And this one is called Tilt to Shade. So here is drawing regularly. And then if you tilt your pencil, you will add a shading with the same texture without having to change color or creating a new layer. So this is great. Just by changing the angle of your brush, you can change the color. And last but not least, we have a light pass. This one is meant for texture. So if we zoom out, you can see um, 
very steady stroke of oil pastel that gives you a very nice texture. Also, when you build on top of each stroke, there's a bit of color variation to create this 3D dimension that um, oil pastel can create. All right, so that is our lineup. And I hope you enjoy using this set to draw your illustrations. And if you ever create something, please tag me on esther.narayoshi on Instagram. All right, I will see you around.